In this video, we'll take a look at what's new in OpenBridge Modeler V8i Select Series 3 Maintenance Release 1. So some of the enhancements that have been made include uh, the fact that it now works with the newest releases of RM Bridge, uh, Leap Bridge Steel, and Leap Bridge Concrete. They're, uh, for Leap Bridge Steel and Concrete, they're both version 17 update 1, and uh, for RM Bridge, it is version 11.01.00.04. So, uh, some other uh, enhancements uh, include some new reports. So, we'll take a look at the reports menu. There's a peer elevation report, and I'll go ahead and open that up and submit it. And this will um, give you it's kind of a consolidated elevation report for all the elevations on all piers and abutments including all the individual components so if we take a look at an abutment for example we'll get uh, wall elevations uh, top and bottom of the wall footing elevations uh, pile elevations if we go on and take a look at the pier uh, we'll get cap elevations uh, and stations and then also top and bottom elevations and length for each column and then for same type of information for the drilled shafts and then for the pile we'll get top and bottom and length for those as well. So that's the peer elevation report. Um, another uh, new functionality here is the fact that we can now transfer stiffeners and cross frames from OpenBridge Modeler to uh, leap bridge steel. So if we rotate this view around a little bit, we can see that we've got a steel girder bridge here uh, with some stiffeners and cross frames. So to send that uh, to leap steel, the, the process is the same. It's simply the fact that we now support uh, the cross frames of stiffeners being sent to leap bridge steel. Once the data transfer window comes up, just go ahead and select OK, and that will kick off the process of sending the bridge over to Leap Bridge Steel and opening uh, the Leap Bridge Steel application. Once the update is complete, we can use uh, things like the rotate view uh, to zoom in and take a look and confirm that indeed the uh, Cross frames and stiffeners are, have now been uh, transferred over uh, to uh, Leap Bridge Steel. Okay, back to OpenBridge Modeler. And the next thing we'll take a look at here is some of the other reports that were enhanced. So if we take a look at, for example, the deck elevation report, and for that, <clears throat> need to select uh, beginning and ending pier lines and accept. And in here, the new option is uh, the ability that we can now do this for uh, XYZ in addition to station offset elevation. So, for example, I can pick um, you know, points along the alignment, uh, both edges of the deck, and along all the beams. Select Generate. And this will go ahead and generate a report of... Uh, uh, X, Y, and Z of every point uh, along the alignment uh, at the tenth points, and in this case, along the left and right edge of deck, and then along each beam as well. So that's something new. And again, remember you can export this information out to PDFs, uh, spreadsheets, CSV files, and the like. Okay, next thing to take a look at here is. When you run the quantities report, uh, go ahead and submit that. There's an option there to get some detailed cross frame information, which is toggled off at the moment. Uh, but also, here at the bottom um, on the last page, it will show you a uh, kind of a pie chart breakdown of the of the distribution of the cost of each uh, type of element uh, that makes up part of the structure. So you can see those broken down here as, as part of the pie chart. Um, next one uh, is not as obvious, but um, this is something that's actually a uh, configuration variable uh, that can be set in your OpenBridge Modeler CFG file. And what it allows you 
to do is set the uh, background color and the color of the text. So I have my background set to white instead of the default black color. Uh, and then I was also able to set the uh, text color uh, to something as well. So that's in uh, the OpenBridge model or CFG file uh, where you can uh, set those variables. So here's a look at the folder that has that um, config file in it. So if I go ahead and open up the OpenBridge Modeler CFG file and scroll down just a little bit. Uh, in your CFG file initially these will be commented out but if you just remove the pound sign uh, or hashtag symbol in front of these two lines uh, you can set the color as you like. Uh, color of 000 would be black for the background color. Uh, all 255s is white and then of course you have everything in, in between. And then the text color is actually based on the color table in your drawing. So uh, you can select a colored number uh, from your uh, color table in your file and, and set the text color that way. Uh, a few other minor things. Um, the back wall horizontal offset is transferred to and from leap bridge concrete. So if you have a notch in your back wall, uh, there's a horizontal and a vertical offset there for that notch. Uh, that will be sent over to uh, leap bridge concrete and honored there and, and could be modified there and, and sent back. Bearings and bearing seats uh, can now be placed on different levels and we've also changed terminology a little bit calling them beam seats as we did before. We now call those bearing seats. So thank you for uh, taking a look at this video on OpenBridge Modeler VDI Select Series 3 Maintenance Release 1. Uh, what's new?